additive lighting is just how your model reacts to real-time point lights and spotlights. So you may see this a lot in worlds, and I would say that you should definitely not have this in world because every time every time a world has a point light like this, it actually has to run another pass of rendering. So there's another draw call. So every light that touches you could add many draw calls, making it so that you're rendering your character multiple times per light touching you and everyone around you. So please, please, please avoid having point lights in your world at any cost. You can have them be baked and that will have no extra cost at all. If you really need a point light, use it for like a flashlight or a spotlight would be for a flashlight but use it for small like props don't use it to light your world your game will run like it'll run terrible so avoid it at all costs now let's get to the actual settings so i'm going to put the point light right here and you can see that it creates sort of a light spot on this side but it doesn't affect this side and a lot of people really don't like that look but sadly there isn't really a way for me to merge these into a single source not yet anyway in 2019 it becomes a little more possible but probably not in vr chat so what you can do is adjust your softness if you adjust your softness a little bit you'll kind of avoid that you'll have the light up here and then it kind of falls down on you but if you're going for a really tune look this is going to sort of add 3d-ness to your model and it's not going to look very good so Another thing you can do is go to your additive offset and sort of adjust the offset of where that light would go. So if you don't want lighting, you can set the additive offset to 0.5. If you want full lighting, you can set it to negative uh, 0.5. Set that to zero. And if you just don't want to be affected at all, you can go to additive intensity and just set that to zero. And now no point lights will affect you. I don't recommend this because there's a lot of situations where like if someone holds a flashlight you do want them to be able to light you up <clears throat> but mm, it's really up to you if your model is more realistic or you're going for a more realistic look then I would soften the shadow up if you're going for a tune look I would just try and find a spot where it looks good you may not find that spot and that's just a limitation of unity at the moment so I did what I could, try your best to make it look good, and if you have any questions about this or anything else, there is a link to my Discord in the description below. Thank you for watching, hope you learned something.